We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So this is one of the stocks we're going to discuss about in this video. There's three stocks I want you to be aware of and they are huge opportunities where they stand. Now, there is some speculation behind them, but there are reasons why the opportunities are forming. So we're going to break it all down in today's video. I'm going to share with you guys the data on why these are the stocks you want to watch and be aware of at these levels. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if you want to get in on early with us every single morning, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. And we're going to jump right into it here with the top three stocks you want to be aware of moving forward before they explode. So the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you want to get on early with us every single morning, we strive for opportunities like these. Check out the link down below in the description to the discord. No matter what volatility is thrown at us, if the stock market's going up or if it's going down, we will continue to strive for opportunities like these. So Every single one of them turned out to be a home run. These are the three stocks I mentioned this morning. And let's go ahead and see how they performed in the chart. So IDW was under a bull indicator since yesterday. It was leveling off on 42 Vision 2.0. We got that confirmation of strength and it hit a highest point of 20% plus since we mentioned it in the pre-market. Then we have NES based off of yesterday's price action. I was watching it. It was pulling downwards and consolidated towards the bell, started going into strength, 42 vision 2.0, and that bull indicator as well as confirmation, and it went up to a highest point of 25% plus. And then we caught SEAC based off of yesterday's news. We were watching it. It was dipping, went into extreme weakness, popped back up, consolidated, slightly dipped after the bell, and after those lows, it got that bull indicator, started pushing upwards, slightly pulled back, 42 Vision 2.0 showing strength, 42 Vision as well, and hit a highest point at the time of the screenshot of 30% plus. So if you want to get on early with us every single morning, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with AEI, the first one on the list. This is a penny stock below a dollar. And this is one of the stocks I mentioned on the weekly watch list this week. It started pulling downwards after having a big run last week. On Monday, it hit lows here of about 61 cents. And it took off to highs here of 67 cents. In just a matter of minutes to hours, it gave nearly a 10% plus move. Now it's pulling downwards again. And this is very interesting because... The bigger picture here is pretty phenomenal to the possible upside. So we're going to pull up here 42 vision, 42 vision 2.0 and ultimate 42 vision, the bull and bear indicators and the strength and weaknesses within the charts. And if you want to gain access to 42 vision indicator, you can too now by checking out the link down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and by joining the 42 vision tier level, you'll gain access to the daily watch list, weekly watch list a community of investors all looking to learn and grow together, as well as the premium indicators to navigate through the volatility of the markets with clarity and confidence to maximize on opportunities no matter what's going on based off the chart. So this stock is pulling downwards and it's trying to retest its 52 week low guys. The 52 week high was 29, low is 60 cents. If it breaks through it, this could go into further weakness. But within this sideways action here, it is trying to find some strength and consolidate. So if it breaks through 60 cents, I would watch how it reacts between 60 to 50 cents. And then if it gets back over 60, how it reacts between 60 to 70. And if it can break through 70, this could be off to the races for a possible upside of 10 to 20 percent, 20 to 50 percent or even 100% plus guys. Right now it is under a bear indicator on the 30 minute. Obviously the longer time frames we will see. It's been under a bear indicator since way up here at $2. It's been going into extreme weakness, but it just recently closed out an offering and it has found some type of support here. And what we want is for 42 vision 
to curvature here and turn back around from red to green. That's the key thing I'm looking for to signify true strength within the charts. Now, inflows are trying to pick up. If you see these green bars, a lot of them have been bigger than the red bars in the last several days. There's a lot more red bars than green, but the green ones have been huge. So there is a lot of inflow, but the outflow keeps on stagnating and hurting the momentum. Once this picks up momentum, it curvatures here, turns back into green, like we've seen it do before in the charts, just like right here. You could see that strength. We'll be looking for a bull indicator. And usually when we're in this area of white with red borders, there tends to be some sort of reversal. And this is the type of reversal we really want to see. I'm really looking for 20 to 50% with this one. Anything beyond 50% will be phenomenal and beyond expectations. But I'm not in a rush to take a chance on this one, okay? I'm watching this one carefully. I'm going to be very vigilant and careful as I make this move because it is a speculative play. It is a penny stock that has been beaten down dramatically, but eventually there has to be some type of dead cap bounce or reversal to come, especially after this offering, especially how things are looking. The four hour wants to try to curvature and also we want the 30 minute to pull away from this consolidation zone and finally bring itself up with the four hour as well and be under a bull indicator. So definitely one to be watching at these levels. Now, the next stock on this list is one that's been being down pretty bad. It IPO'd and it's SPAC merged just recently, a few months ago, and it's just been in a downward trend. Now, this is a stock that before the SPAC merger, Kathy Wood had been buying a lot. And, and this is within the 3D printing space, which is in the growth sector and is getting hurt a lot within the overall market, right? Because the whole growth sector is being hit hard. Now, we are in an area where it hasn't really gone towards extreme weakness, which is white with fried borders, and we usually expect some type of reversal, and it hasn't really gone up with a lot of strength in this area. Now, this is a stock I mentioned on the weekly watch list as well. Yesterday, it hit a low here of about 518, and it took off to 554, nearly giving a five to 10% plus move. Now, it's been pulling downwards on the 30 minute. It's under a bear indicator. And when you zoom out, it is a pretty huge opportunity. And I want you guys to see something very interesting all the way throughout until December 6. Kathy Wood has been buying. And what I'm really looking for is that signal of her being more confident to buy even more as this pulls away from $5 and gets back up towards six or seven because she has paused on her purchases but all she's done is purchase, okay? These green dots here are all purchases, no sales. She has not sold and her purchases have gone up and up and up at the amount of shares that she's holding all throughout from the beginning way down here with 2 million all the way to 9 million shares currently sitting at around the last time she bought of about 543, 590. In that area, she was buying heavy and the last time she bought was December 6th. She bought on the third, on the second, on the first. I mean, she was buying every single day and she has not sold once. Now, obviously it doesn't make sense as an investor to sell down here, but very interesting that she hasn't shaved off or done any rebalancing. She is holding strong and I'm sure she's probably gonna be looking to buy even more as this continues to go higher, right? That's what I find interesting here at these levels of how she's been buying and not selling and how confident she was even before the SPAC merger. That is something that's very interesting. Now, when you pull up here, the four hour, same thing. It's been under a bear indicator for some time. And in this area, based off of 42 vision, there tends to be reversals eventually, right? We saw it right here, all this time here. And look what happened. It went from the fives all the way back up to the sevens. So I'm really looking for a possible 10 to 20% jump of a dead cap bounce reversal here on 42 vision 2.0, remove this bear indicator and get a bull indicator somewhere around here and some strength on 42 vision. And if it goes past 20%, I'll be watching it between that 20% to 50% plus opportunity. If that does turn out to be the case in the near future, as this picks up momentum, if it can continue to hold up 
and not break through support if it breaks through support it will hit newer lows and that's the 52 week low it reached it today of 513 so if it breaks through 513 i'm gonna be watching how this reacts between 450 and five dollars now the last one on this list is speculative as well you definitely want to be aware of this one so this is a very speculative stock and you definitely want to watch this one and proceed with it with caution right the last time i jumped up and had a squeeze from two dollars and some change was back in august and it went all the way up towards the beginning of september to twelve dollars and since then it's had its ups and downs but the true trajectory has just been to the downside right so this stock right now is at levels where the last time it jumped and created a huge squeeze was way down here at two dollars and some change now could it do the same effect i am not guaranteeing that it is possible it's not impossible but it's not guaranteed that's not the point here that's not the goal here the goal here is to catch it when a lot of investors are feeling pretty confident to probably catch this dip thinking that it's going to be a great opportunity so there's only one thing that drives this and it's hype right now it's been through a lot of bull and bear cases here moving upwards but it found a slight bottom down here at 239 hit a high here of 328 recently nearly a 10 to 30 percent move and it's been consolidating here with some strength so there's some key things i'm going to be watching the first thing is 272 if it gets broken through how it reacts between 272 and the lows here of 239 see if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears are going to continue to tear this one down those are the two key things i'll be watching in those levels and when we zoom out here on the four hour it's where it gets very interesting because it hit that bottom and since then it's been reversing you can also see here on 42 vision 2.0 that shift from red to green i'm going to watch and see if it can continue and on top of that there is a bull indicator right a bull indicator here with ultimate 42 vision and it's been pushing upwards we need to see if inflow can continue if not this could collapse to even newer lows fairly quickly and it will touch 240 try to bounce off of it and if not the bears will dominate and break through it but if this keeps on going higher it could eventually trap some shorts and create a possible short squeeze effect and that is what creates the hype and speculation behind this one so this bull indicator here is kind of just sitting sideways it's not going sharply up like we saw here the last time when it bounced from 488 all the way to nine dollars nearly doubling but i will be watching carefully what's going on here at these levels creating an opportunity for a probable dead cap bounce or true hype and speculation creating eventually a squeeze effect if it keeps on pushing higher and if we put the one day you could see it's been under a bear indicator since way up here in the sixes it's been falling downwards and it is trying to push itself back up if this loops right back down and this continues red on 42 vision 2.0 it will get a lot more to the downside but it's still something worth watching at these levels this is very speculative and this is driven a lot by hype and possible short squeeze opportunities so do keep that in mind i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below and if you want to receive clarity like no other check out the link down below for 42 vision indicator by joining the 42 vision tier level you will gain access to the daily watch list weekly watch list and a community of investors all looking to learn and grow together as well as the premium indicators to maximize on opportunities through the volatility of the market with confidence no matter what's going on within the markets and the charts receiving the clarity you deserve with 42 vision we look forward to having you join us and as well thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money